Hi, this is Alex with Eichel Camp, and today we're going to talk about the bucket auger, or what's often called the riverside auger. You can see we are not next to a river, but we are next to that body of water. Uh, we're here because we want to pull a sample below the water table. So we've talked about the Edelman auger in the past, whether it's the combination style or the sand uh, or the clay, and how they're great at sampling above the water table. But once you start getting below it, uh, your, your sample is going to be less consolidated, and that's where you're going to need something like this, uh, where it actually can hold that sample together really tightly. It's a full circle. So we're gonna take this bad boy down, we're gonna grab a sample of that unconsolidated muck at the bottom of this hole, and we're gonna pull it out so you can take a look at it. So we're gonna go all the way down to this pre-augered hole. <laughs> Couple twists. You can see some of that just gook coming out. That material would probably not have stayed in the Edelman auger, but since we were below the water table and we had the bucket auger, we were able to grab the sample we needed. This here is the one piece. It can come in several different, it comes in a, as just an auger body, and you can go much, much deeper than just this uh, one meter long. So it's a good tool to have in your tool bag, whether you're sampling near some water or in those unconsolidated layers, or really need something with a lot of teeth. This thing is a pretty sturdy little auger. Uh, this is Alex with Eichel Camp. Meet the difference.